knife in. Hi, Strong Fitness Magazine. Sorry for being a bit late. I had to set up. It's pretty busy out there, and I wanted to go on the Smith machine and show you that with some ones on it. And um, let you know if you can hear me. I'm using my AirPods, and they just got like, connected. If you can't, please send me a comment, and I'll change it up. Right, we're gonna go and do a warm up. And then we're gonna go and do some weights. How I trained for the Suicide Squad, and how I got like super villain ready. And then I'm gonna have to do a cool down for you. So I'm gonna do a warm up work out cool down we're gonna compress it into half an hour usually I work out for like 60 to 90 minutes but today is gonna to be different but let's start the warm up because I incorporate a lot of martial arts as well as weights into my workout because of a work in film and I do a lot of action action uh, film so I kind of like have to stretch out my hips and get flexible and get ready to lift Guys, if you have any questions, let me know. And my good friend Brian, he's gonna shout out on the hopefully I can do both. Alright, this is how I always start. I'll do a walking plank. Come down, chin tucked. I come back, stretch out the hamstrings. Keep the chin tucked, come up. So I'm getting everything ready, I'm getting my back warm, I'm getting my arms stretched out. My uh, the Suicide Squad is released today, you've got to go and watch it on IMAX. You've got to support Mongal. So usually I do around 10. This is my first exercise I do for a warm up, just to get that like, hysteria. Okay guys, that's enough. Now I'm gonna go and work out my hips. So I came off a horse in the Scorpion King movie and the, I landed on my hip and then my shoulder and then my head. In South Africa, ended up in hospital, so I really have to warm up my hips because this one is damaged. This is what happens when you work in the movies, it's not as glamorous as it looks. What was your favorite type of workout to prep for a, prep for a movie? What's my favorite? Mm -hmm. um, it depends on the, on the movie role. If it's for martial arts, then I'll get like really agile and fast and light. Yeah. If it's like for Mongal, where she, she's a beast. And she's a really super strong alien, then it's a lot of weight. So I open the hips here. And then I keep twisting. So now you watch me again. And I just go in circles. Open hips. Down. Back to start position. Come up 90 degrees. Usually one of my legs is out of my socket. So I kind of do this to click it back into my socket every day. Who needs a chiropractor? All you need to do is this. That's how damaged my hip is. It comes out. So I do this, try to click it in, and then I warm up by doing knees, Muay Thai knees, bring it forward. And then 360s, five out. In. 
five out. Get those hips moving. Because you're going to do a lot of, I do a lot of compound movements, squats and deadlifts. So you need your hamstrings and your back to be ready. You know? Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Still trying to kick in that hip. Okay, knees. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry guys. <laughs> See, action hero reflexes. See that? Right. Um, now we're gonna do some kicks to warm up. So I like to do a knee to a back kick to warm up. So this is where the action hero, the martial arts come in. So knee, 55. Back kick, back kick, side kick. Warm up. Then. Now we go in front kick, return kick. Usually I might do like a little kung fu, just a uh, kung fu form, just to get extra dynamic warm up. Um, and also I'm the kind of girl if I don't use it, I lose it. So I always like to pick up a weapon because I'm like no natural talent here. I went damn hard at what I do, so I have to keep it up. Otherwise, if I don't do it, I forget. I'm not the best. So I'll show you a little demo. Hey, do you want to go over there and go low for me? Just a little down. Today, go and see it on IMAX. Okay, uh, let's start with the weights. So, if you want to be superhero ready, I used to compete in Singapore. I was I did figure on bikini, and uh, that was like 2011. But now I don't even train arms because arms you're getting all your pull-ups and you're getting, you know, even deadlifts, all of that stuff. You don't really need to. I don't do a lot of accessories. If you do, that's fine. For me, I don't like to do a lot of accessory work. And also, the lean on my arms is, uh, it's better for Hollywood. Otherwise, I'm coming in just as like the strong girl, the butch girl, whatever, the however they typecast me as. So I try to like keep the, keep the limbs kind of long and not so thick, just because of costumes and stuff and things like that. But I do like a good delt. A nice delt peak. I work my delts a lot, back a lot. I don't do a lot of chest, don't do any arms. Um, and I work my legs. I try to work mostly my glutes because I have that Asian thing going on where I'm massively quad dominant. I don't even work out my quads. I try to do loads of deadlifts and like hip thrusts to work my um, to work the booty. Because when I got on stage in Singapore, it was like, um, it was like pancake butt, pancake butt central. I just like turned around and there was just like yeah. vacant space. I, I dieted so much, my ass went, and um, it was just like tumbleweeds behind there. And since then, the last 10 years, I've been hip thrusting and squatting, and it's, you know, I don't really get there. I'm not very hip dominant. So it's a lot of work for me just to get this tiny thing. Like, I don't know. 
Uh, we all have our weaknesses, right? Anyway, we're going to start with some push presses, which I love to get me uh, the heart rate going and for, to give me that belt. And it's great for the core. So I'll do like 20 to 30 of these push press. Let me do, um, I'm going to show you how I uh, get some definition and cuts in the, in the legs and uh, end of the shoulder size. I'm going to do a super set. Any questions, Brian? Everything good? Yeah, where are we today? Where are we? We're in Gold's Gym, the Mecca. The whole reason I moved to LA was because of this gym. size just because Hollywood thinks I'm scary as I am at a size US 6 I know it's crazy so I try not to get too tight cast and limit myself so I'll do a lighter weight and I'll do things this is a curtain lunge come up from any side What is your favorite single exercise and your least favorite one? My single favorite exercise? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, favorite. I don't like... Okay, I love doing shoulders. I I do hit um, a lot of hip thrusts just because I've got the pancake butt going on. But I don't like them. Uh, probably deadlift is my favorite. I do like a deadlift. We'll, actually, we'll do some deadlifts. We'll do a deadlift. And what is your strength to cardio ratio and how was the premiere? The premiere was bloody epic. Uh, it took a village to get me ready. I had a like, stylist, hair, makeup. All my friends came and supported. I want, my family are all in Tenerife, all my brothers. I wish they were there, but you know, COVID and all that, all that jazz. We couldn't make it, so pretty gutted actually. Let's start with some deadlifts. And your strength to cardio ratio? Sorry? Your strength to cardio ratio. Uh, I don't know. You know? I don't know. I'm not like... Too much to think while we're working out. We got to focus on the workout. <laughs> I know. Right now, I don't know my own name. Ugh. We'll do some deadlifts, then we'll do a push. Then we'll do a clean press. That's, if I really want to lean out for a movie and I'm truffle shuffling a little bit, I will hit those clean presses quite a lot because they're really good for that burnout and they, they're great for the base to look like a superhero. Like if I have an audition tomorrow, I'll hit the clean presses uh, today and tomorrow and it really cleans me up and it just makes me prompt. But this, let's first do deadlift. While it's light, I'm just going to do standard deadlift.
you want to catch my next movie? I'm a, a play lieutenant and uh, I take on the Green Power Ranger and it's like Moira Ryan. There's a lot of knees and elbows and shit. Now that it's getting a bit more heavier, I'll take it a bit wider. So what do you think about the Suicide Squad? What do I think? Guys, wait till you watch it. It's gonna blow your mind. It's like, it's like possibly one of my favorite films. And I'm watching it and I'm in it. I'm like, what the? Like I came to the US six years ago as an actor on an old one visa. Just went for it. Went for the dream finally. Got the courage to go for it. And I'm in a James Bond movie. Like four years to the day. I went for the table read, Margot Robbie, Aegis Alba, James Gunn, and uh, it was, I woke up that morning, I think it was on Facebook or something, and it was like four years today you moved to USA, and I, I, I gave acting 100%, and four years later I'm in like a, a DC movie, well my second, I was in Wonder Woman as a Rhino, but I was like my own superhero, so guys, uh, let's go and put some more weight on. As usual, mailing calls and mayhem. So, this is how I get ready to be a superhero. I just lift my body weight, do some martial arts in between. Like, after this, I'll do some picks and I'll show you like what I do. Let me know when it's like eight minutes out because I'll do after the stretch with these guys. Okay. Please, Brian. Let's see, it's 10.24. Uh, how, how long? So we got about five more minutes, actually. Five more minutes? Mm -hmm. All right, check out Brian. He's helping me out today. He's like the videographer of like Gold's Gym. Such a cool dude. Cheers, dude. All right, let's do this quickly. between sets. I'll do this. Alright, I'll do a kick. I'll do ten of them. Yeah. And I'll do it from the behind leg. And then I'll go and do an exercise and then I'll come back. And then I'll do the front leg. Do an exercise, come back, and then I'll do the three. Which is all about control. Question: Any workout supplements and work and you recommend? I live on um, BCAs, mm -hmm. and I love. I take a lot of collagen. I have battle proteins uh, give me collagen and like in a powder form. But I have the um, they have this coffee creamer that I live on because I live on coffee, mm -hmm. and I get the collagen in with that. And they give me these sleep gummies that has collagen in with melatonin. They are the bomb, especially when I travel. I take those melatonin, those little gummy things, and they taste great. Just try to have one more. Is there a specific brand you want to shout out to? Brand? Mm-hmm. 
I had Lululemon for dressing me, vital proteins for giving me all the collagen that I can take and all my friends, they give me so much stuff. If you want some guys, message me and I'll, um, I'll uh, show it to vital proteins and I'm sure they'll reach out and they'll send you some samples and stuff. Um, what else? Um, then, yeah, just a little lemon. I see. And how often do you train? Do you switch during the filmmaking? Pardon? So how often do you train and did it switch during filming? And, and what filming? See, did it switch during filming? Switch, oh, so the switch. Well, the only thing that, I, so when I got one girl, I was lucky that I had time to prep because like Wonder Woman, I had six days and I was kind of truffle shuffling. I was eating pizza Actually, as I got the message, are you available on Monday? It was Tuesday and I was eating pizza. So that was hard because I had to diet, train, pack, fly from Spain to LA to London to get all my stuff. Mongal, I, I was one of the first ones to be cast, and um, and I had I, I I peaked very early, which is not good because then you have to hold this leanness for a long time. And girls, you know, you lose muscle if you lose calories. So I, I peaked and then I went back out and then I peaked again. But um, I just lifted really heavy because one thing, if you're doing if you're doing action movies, you may not have time to train and you're going to lose that muscle if you're not training. And then the craft services on there are so good, especially in these streets. Okay, you know these. Pinewood Studios, so it's just really hard to walk past like all of these goodies. So you want to build as much muscle as possible to, to maintain. You don't, you can't build while you're doing a movie. It's just no, you ain't got the time to do the diet. You ain't got the time to train. You know, you're doing eight an hour day sometimes. Especially if you've got makeup and SFX makeup. Um, so the only way I switched it up was that what I did when I was able to train, I lifted. I went in and just smashed out like five compound movements because I had to make it count and I had to keep that muscle. Forget doing like bicep work and tricep work. It ain't gonna cut it. It ain't gonna cut it if you're if you're in the gym four times a week and you're on the set. You need to like just be lifting, squatting, deadlifts, uh, pull-ups, all that good stuff. Uh, how much time do I have? One stretch. So we got about let's go about at least two more minutes. Two more minutes. Okay. Cool. This is what I do, I'm going to do it really, really quickly. But usually I hold each one for like 30 seconds. Let's go. This is how I stretch out. This is why I don't get injuries. Good okay. flexor stretch. Down, same time. Change. Two. Now, five seconds. Down, up to the groin. Press it. This is on my YouTube. Go to my YouTube and look for the um, flow. And this is it. Let's do it in like real time. Turn, relax on. This is the ground, you're behind, grab the foot to the butt. Come back. Hamstring, and now you want to stretch out your soleus. I get really tight soleuses because Wonder Woman, we were wearing high heel boots at the corset, running on the beach for two months, and they just shorten so much. This is what happens when you work in movies, you get a lot of injuries. Because you ain't got time to warm up, they go action and then go scan around for 20 minutes and then go to action again. You're like, ah! Elbows, open the groin. Pigeon, now you'll see how tight my glutes are because that's how bad I am. And then instead of doing spider, I end with a split, box split, and then elbows, side split, both hands one side, and take it to flip, turn it around, both hands one side. I'm not very comfortable. Think Kung Fu challenge. Fist on the ground, shuffle, feet in, chin tucked, round up the mat. Present. Are you? Present. Sorry. That's it. That's my warm up. My uh, basis of what I do. There's more on my YouTube. Please go and check it out. Mailing Link. NG. And, uh, and that's my stretch that I did, which is on YouTube as well. Any questions? I'm sure Sean Fitness Magazine is going to. 
and send to me and we'll do it again. If you liked it, we'll do it again. I'm going, I'm going. Any questions there, Brian? Uh, not anymore. No? Nope. All good? Yep. Thanks, guys. I'm going to sign off. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you heard me. I don't know if these work. <laughs>